One of my favorite ways to make a document more interesting is to add images to that document, and there are a variety of ways that we can go about that task within Word. Let's take a look at how we can insert images within the text of our documents. I'll start off by placing the insertion point at the position where I want that image to be placed, and then I'll go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, and I have two basic options when it comes to inserting an image. I can choose the clip art option if I want to use some of the free clip art that's available with Microsoft Office. I can type in a search phrase, for example. I'll just type airplane, and then I'll click the go button, and you can see that I get a series of search results. And I could choose one of these images, just clicking on the image in order to insert it into my document. But in this case, I have an image as a file that I'd like to insert. So I'll go ahead and close that clip art window. And then I'm going to click on the picture option on the insert tab. And then I'll navigate to the location where my image is stored. I'll select that image and then click the insert button and that image will be inserted in the position that I specified. You'll notice it's just to the left of that opening paragraph text, but by default the text is not wrapping around the image, and so the image is just causing that text to shift downward into the document. But we can change that very quickly and easily with a couple of different options. To begin with, I can just adjust the text wrapping option. So, for example, if I want to have the text wrapped squarely around the image, I can choose the square option, and you'll notice now the image is positioned exactly where I placed it, and the text wraps around it. And if I adjust the size of the image by dragging any of the handles along the outer edge, you'll notice that that wrapping adjusts accordingly but I can also adjust the text wrapping as well as the position of the image all at the same time if I'd like by using that position pop-up. For example, I can center the image within the document or center it at the bottom of the page, for example, or I can align it on the right side of the document. I'll go ahead and choose that right alignment option, and then I can continue moving the image around. So, for example, at the moment, because I've aligned to the top right corner, the image is in alignment with the heading. If I prefer to have that image down a little bit, I can simply click and drag to reposition. And I can continue fine-tuning the overall position and, of course, the size of that image so that it works better within the existing text. So whether you want to use clip art or an existing image file, you can insert an image into a document and then adjust text wrapping and the position of that image as well as the size of the image to really improve the overall appearance of any document.